Well, Singapore's latest sporting sensations took centre stage today when CNA's new radio station, CNA 938, hit the road for the first time right in the heart of the business district. Badminton player Yeo Jia Min and diver Jonathan Chan were the special guests at the road show at the UOB Plaza Atrium where they were grilled by Asia First presenters Yasmin Yonkers and Arnold Gay. Do you hear that, 20-year-old Yo Jia Min stunned badminton world number one Akane Yamaguchi at the World Championships last month, winning in just 39 minutes. But her task this time round was somewhat easier. I feel a breeze here. Have you taken that into account? Ah, there's a bit of a wind factor. How do you counter wind factor, Jia Min? Just hit the Just hit harder. Do you hear that, Arnold? With that, a fan got to walk away with an autographed shuttlecock. Next, the program dived into the Olympics <laughs> with the man of the moment, Jonathan Chan. He's the first Singaporean to qualify for Tokyo 2020 after winning the Asian Diving Cup in the men's 10-meter platform event. John is very easy going, very easy to please, but I know he likes his anime. It's very different from going live in the studio because when you talk, you actually have the instant reactions from the people around you and you also can see their, their facial expressions. Other guests on the show include Member of Parliament Patrick Tay. For CNA 938, many of the listeners are mostly working around the CBD area. So it's great that uh, we have this uh, live show here and of course uh, for audience as well as listeners yeah, to, to tune in. Analysts from UOB were also on hand, but to talk about more than just business. The show also caught the eye of passers-by. Very lively and uh, it's fun, I would say. It's different, yeah, see them live on, I mean, rather than listening, listening to them. So what did the presenters think? I really liked it, Arnold. Did you? Yeah, it was. I, I like all the noise and the sounds, yeah, because it's always so quiet in our studio. Yeah, I mean, it's so much fun. I mean, you heard it, it was informal. We wanted to deliver a different experience and make it real. That's the first of four road shows done. Next stop, Raffle City next Friday, and a look ahead to the Singapore Grand Prix.